The situation in the Avdiivka direction of the front continues to be tense. The Ukrainian High Military Command, together with the NATO leadership, are desperately trying to stop the rapid advance of Russian troops in this sector of the front. As a result, over the past few days, the number of destroyed Western military equipment in this direction of the front has increased several times. Between the 29th of February and the 9th of March, 2024, the armed forces of Ukraine managed to lose two HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems, three Patriot air defense systems, and five Abrams tanks. And this list of destroyed Western military equipment continues to grow rapidly. So, it became known that on March 10, 2024, Russian troops destroyed another American Abrams tank. It is reported that this U.S. tank was destroyed by Russian soldiers of the 24th Brigade of Special Forces from Novosibirsk. According to war correspondents, an American tank was destroyed near the village of Berdichi, with the help of the Cornet anti-tank missile system. According to Russian military experts, the number of documented cases of destruction of American Abrams tanks has reached four units, while two more tanks were seriously damaged and also disabled. At the moment, the armed forces of Ukraine are trying to restore those two tanks, but without success. Thus, it can be stated that over the past 11 days, the Russian army has managed to destroy the sixth in a row U.S. Abrams tank. At the same time, Russian soldiers continue to speak negatively about the American tank. According to them, the Abrams tank only looks impressive. However, on the battlefield, this American tank is not in a position to offer decent resistance and dies within a few minutes as soon as it tries to engage in battle. According to Russian soldiers, the armed forces of Ukraine are mainly trying to use American Abrams tanks as self-propelled guns, firing at Russian positions from huge distances. Moreover, on the same day, Russian soldiers also managed to destroy another US M1150 assault breacher vehicle. Let me remind you that the M1150 assault breacher is a very rare and expensive armored vehicle of the US Army. The US government has transferred 31 M1 Abrams tanks and only 6 M1150 assault breacher vehicles to Ukraine two of which have already been destroyed by the Russian army. Thus, at the disposal of the armed forces of Ukraine, there are currently only four M1150 assault breacher vehicles and 25 Abrams tanks. And judging by what is happening on the battlefield, the number of these American armored vehicles in the armed forces of Ukraine will continue to decrease rapidly. By the way, it is also worth noting a curious incident that took place yesterday with the British tank, Challenger 2. So, on March 10, during a demonstration run for British and Ukrainian journalists, the Challenger tank got stuck in the mud and failed to show all its power. According to British journalists, this incident occurred at one of the secret sites of the armed forces of Ukraine, several hundred kilometers from the line of combat contact. Moreover, to the surprise of British journalists, one of the Ukrainian soldiers suddenly opened up and told the whole truth about the British tank. In particular, he stated that the Challenger tank is very heavy and not adapted for the Ukrainian soil. He also added that the mechanisms in its turret are very fragile and fail very often.
Let me remind you that Britain handed over to Ukraine 14 units of Challenger 2 tanks, five of which have already broken down for technical reasons, and two others were destroyed by the Russian army. Thus, at the disposal of the armed forces of Ukraine, there are currently only seven units of Challenger 2 tanks, which are still being held in the rear. Meanwhile, it became known that Russia had launched another powerful missile attack on military facilities, located on the territory of Kharkiv. So, on the night of March 11, a series of powerful explosions were recorded in the area of the Kharkiv airport and directly on its territory. As it turned out, in the dead of night, dozens of jet-powered geranium kamikaze drones and several ballistic missiles attacked the airport itself and a local hotel that was located several hundred meters from the Kharkiv airport. As a result of this attack, the hotel was completely destroyed. Moreover, several firing points and strongholds were also destroyed on the territory of the airport itself. Even though, the Ukrainian authorities claim that Russia attacked civilian facilities in Kharkiv, Russian military sources continue to state the opposite. According to them, a hotel in Kharkiv was destroyed, where there were a large number of foreign mercenaries from France, who recently arrived in Ukraine to participate in hostilities against Russian troops. Moreover, Russian military sources also stated that there are no civilian facilities on the territory of the Kharkiv airport as the armed forces of Ukraine are diligently building fortified areas and firing points on the territory of this airport in case of an offensive by the Russian army. Unfortunately, at the moment, the exact number of victims among foreign mercenaries is still unknown. However, judging by the words of witnesses, who noted dozens of ambulances near the ruins of this hotel, the number of victims may reach several dozen.